In round seven of the Women's National Basketball League, the ABC cameras were in Sydney to see the Flames play host to the Adelaide Lightning. It was third against last on the ladder, Narelle Fletcher, but it was Adelaide who got off to a great start. Well, didn't they, John? They were absolutely on fire very early on in that match where it all started really through the big girls of the Adelaide Lightning. Both Alex Bunton and Laura Hodges went to work deep inside the paint and it really started to open up a perimeter game for them. Sydney, well, they had all sorts of problems early and it looked as though we were going to see a major upset. Remembering these teams played an overtime thriller they were the last time they clashed here. But Paris Johnson got on fire and then Leilani Mitchell in the second half started to steer things Sydney's way. Well, certainly, if it hadn't been for the trips to the free-throw line early on for the Flames, that this match could have been over or certainly much more in favour of the Adelaide Lightning at halftime. But Leilani Mitchell, she scored a really crucial basket right on the buzzer at halftime, bringing the margin back to four points and we knew with the way that the Adelaide Lightning season's been going they've had a major fade outs in the second half and we're already waiting for it. Just struggling with their confidence at the moment and when Leilani Mitchell took charge as she did there well it was always going to be a long night and I was very impressed with the depth off the bench for Sydney. They haven't made the playoffs the last two years but they look headed there this season. Well they certainly do and they deserve to be as well. They've got great guard presence, they've got legitimate bigs inside and like you said their depth they don't lose anything when coach rookie coach Shannon Seabom goes to his bench Now we've also got a rookie coach for Adelaide and Jeremy Moore he's had a tough time of it at the moment he's just not getting enough production outside of Laura Hodges and Jess Foley well they just don't put enough points on the board Well no they don't and Alex Bunton showed potential tonight but once again just found herself picking up three fouls and it really does zap her confidence but Farris we need to get some more production for her Angela Marino and probably even Amy Lewis Emma Langford need to get more involved. Well, in the final analysis, it was the Sydney Flames getting home by 12 points, 66 to 54. Top scorers in the game, Laura Hodges with 21 for Adelaide and 16 points for Leilani Mitchell from the Sydney Flames.